cannabis. Sativa. Dope. Indica. Weed. Leaf. Leaf. This is Leaf Life. All things cannabis for all people. Now, here are your hosts, Ricker and the Bearded Lorax. We publish a free magazine called The Leaf that is available in print in 13 states at your local cannabis retailer and also available online at leafmagazines.com. My name is Mike Ricker and I'm your host of Leaf Life with my co-host, Wes Abney, also known as... The Bearded Lorax. I speak for the trees. And there's Stashley. The token female. And Mary J. White. The smoking female. Welcome to the second half of this Leaf Life show called The Great Outdoors. In just a moment, we'll talk about seasons in the sun and how different times of year offer different experiences, all combined with tasty cannabis. And we'll spin Stash's wheel to see what products Lena B. White of Seattle's private reserve company and a member of the Leaf family, this show's Greg the Guinea Pig, is going to be trying next. But first, it's time for Who Does That? Really? You gotta be kidding. No way! Uh, seriously? Utterly perplexing. Um, who does that? Mary J. White, who's the idiot this time? Children. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Children. Go figure. Gather around, children. Okay. Oh, we're the children. This is, you're the, you're okay. the damn children. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> this is a cautionary tale. Caution. Hey. Oh. Cautionary tale. Okay. Okay? You heard it here first. PCP is a very, very, very bad drug. Don't do it. I'm telling you this because. Okay. Because. I feel scolded right now, by the way. Oh, no, you're not. This is all from love. Has anyone here ever done PCP? Man, no. I've no. never even been off. It's a radio anything. show. Don't shake your fucking head. Oh. No, I have never <laughs> tried PCP. No, not have, have you been offered it? No. Huh. Like, I've been offered every drug. I would Except say I've been PCP. offered it, actually. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, so this guy, Big Lurch is his name, all right? <laughs> yeah, so <clears throat> he's a rapper in the Bay Area. And, you know, he was doing okay. He was working with some of the higher-profile rappers. Things were going pretty good for the Big Lurch. <laughs> however, <laughs> however, one night, Big Lurch did the PCP, at which point... He stabbed his drug partner's girlfriend through the shoulder. I'm sorry, this is horrible. Ripped open her chest with his teeth. Um, and then he was... What? Yeah. He Stop. Ripped, no, I'm sorry. Skip he, that part. Okay. No, Jesus. keep going. Anyway. <laughs> then I guarantee he, our audience is also on. into all the murder mystery. Okay, yeah. so anyway, he basically killed this lady with his freaking teeth then he leaves their apartment he's walking down the street drenched in blood like a zombie he's like a zombie anyway they get him to the hospital and they find out he had human flesh in his stomach so the big lurch with the PCP is now serving a life sentence don't do PCP that's also pretty common so even if you're like maybe just a little bit and I won't eat some blood don't do it because you will eat someone. You could. I thought it was the rapper who cut off his dick. Hey. Story. Oh my god, no. <laughs> who does that? Because that was who also that? that was also PCP. PCP. The big yeah, lurch yeah. does yeah. that. The big lurch. My dad did. told me that he did PCP one time. Yeah. Uh, it was in the Bay Area. I was a child. I was like two years old, and he oh. said he was smoking a joint, and somebody had laced it with PCP, oh. and it lasted all night. And he said oh. the sky just opened up. And I was like, okay, whoa, Pop, what else have whoa, you done? Oh, Dad, yeah. wow. <laughs> Mary J. White, Ooh. thank you so oh, much. Certainly. Stash, Ooh. let's spin that wheel and see what Lena B. Sorry. White's going to be hitting next. Yeah, definitely time to smoke after that. Right. Right. Yeah, not laced, by the no, way, with no. anything but Ooh. terpenes. Oh, no. gorgeous cannabis. Again, by Fire Cannabis from Bohemi. Yeah. Oh, look cool. at that. Okay, this is a dab saucer. What's the strain? Oh, yeah, sorry. It's okay. You're okay. You're not in trouble, Sash. It's okay, buddy. Oh, my God. It's okay. It's called Fruity Fire. Fruity Ooh. Fire. Wow, we use that one. And look, and we're Wes. we're using the new iSpire by Dab. No, it's the new Dab, Dab by iSpire, but you were close. It's, the, it's called the Dab, <laughs> D-A-A-B. It's the Dab. And it's beautiful. It is, is that beautiful. a dab? It's a dab. When it's I was dab. in California last time, a, a couple months ago, mm-hmm. I went to some parties, uh, weed parties, like 
sponsored weave parties with real companies and stuff nice. and everyone was using the dab oh. in cali wow yeah so like there you'd everyone. see a row of eight of them really? yeah you know all That's different dabs cool. oh these weed parties are outstanding mm-hmm. sometimes i want to go to a weed party let's go there's one coming up um okay there's one mike tyson will be here very soon oh yeah the the boxer yeah. you know like, yeah i no know mike, you want to I'm just, I don't, I mean, it'd be nice to Wes meet him. Wes and I are interviewing him. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay, look at Hold you guys. Hold the button. Okay. Well, I want to go to that. He also had some I had to figure flesh. it out. Oh, well, that's in, right. In his yeah, stomach. Just he did, keep he it held down and the little time. light in here should oh, come on. Oh, God. Oh. Are you guys trying to figure I'll out how to it. use it? Did you turn it off? What did I do? There you go. Oh, we oh, saw yes. this lovely uh, light party okay, happening. I did we, we should have read the instructions. I'm learning still. Okay, but it is really cool. Yeah. Love it, right? It is beautiful. Yeah. Okay, I'm excited to hit this. By the way, that's brand new. Big. It's gorgeous. Go ahead, Lena. Hit it up. Yum. Toke it up, girlfriend. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it says like strawberry lemonade. Ooh. I didn't see oh the other gosh, half Oh, my gosh. I definitely the, um, taste both of those flavors. Yeah. Mm. 4% terpenes. Oh, strawberry yes. lemonade. So straight. fruity. Cool. Yes. Mm. Nice. Mm, it's very cool yeah. how the colors come through the smoke in that. Look oh, that. that's so cool. Gorgeous. That is a great dab rig. <laughs> Electronic dab Pretty. rig, by the oh, way. Yeah, you can sorry. put it in a little pelly case and take it everywhere you go. Nice. All right. Let's talk about seasons in the sun. You know, summer or winter, it doesn't matter. The great outdoors is always fantastic. But sometimes, you know, uh, things happen that you don't necessarily expect. Now, you talked about us hiking the other day. Lena's like, yeah, I carry bear mace with me. Bear mace? Holy <coughs> cow. Yeah, you got to do that. Bear spray and a knife. Bear mace and a knife. I'm yeah. like, well, shit, I'm just out there with my butt bag. It's got some edibles in it. I just shove one in the bear's mouth. What's up? Dude, you are an edible. <laughs> We, we were hiking one time over on the Olympic Peninsula up to Wolf Pass. I was pregnant, so I didn't have to carry the pack, which was awesome. Uh-huh. But we're walking down the damn trail, and there was a mama bear and two baby bears no. in on the trail. And this was 40 years ago, right? Wow. Yeah. And I didn't know what to do. My now ex-husband ran, dumbass. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. No way. Yeah, he ran. <laughs> So I'll just, the pregnant yeah, lady, I'll just stand here and too. look at these bears. <laughs> you know, they, luckily they went up a tree. But point is, you yeah, you might have to spray a bear. They yeah. went up a tree because they were afraid of you. Well, I think so, yeah. Oh. That maternity wear, with, it's not attractive. Okay, so there was <laughs> literally a story just in the news recently of a woman in Leavenworth who... Uh, her, she had let her dog out and ended up having to punch a bear in I its that. face. She punched that damn bear <laughs> to get him off the dog. Really? Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm sorry, but the know. dog is a snack. Like I'm not dying <laughs> oh. for I'm not dying for anybody that isn't human. I would defect. I would defend my. I would Hugo J. Treadwell. Stephanie? I'm fighting the bear. I would. Def- I would definitely stick up for Abby. Did you defend Stephanie? Yes, absolutely. Okay. I love my kitties, but I would just say goodbye. Stephanie is her squirrel. <laughs> I by would. The way. I would try. Now, to I mean, even with the kids, it's like which one's most annoying? Oh my god. <laughs> Wow. You, you don't know. have to run fast. Just well, like faster a than you. Yeah, exactly. It's like which kid do I sacrifice? <laughs> but I'll say uh, this, you know, annoying one. cannabis definitely adds a beautiful edge to what it, whatever it is you're doing outdoors. And I can, you know, the most simple moment being up snowboarding. Well, I don't know how long, maybe ten years ago. I remember being in the back country at Alpental. It's a mountain here, and almost losing my freaking head on a tree and stopping in the powder and thinking to myself, oh my God, that was so dangerous. I could have gotten seriously hurt right there because my goggles were compromised and my visibility wasn't very good because they were con- there was condensation in them. And I was like, I have to get new goggles. Now I have to go spend the money, right? But I remember sitting in the snow and thinking for a moment, I could have just you know, gone Sonny Bono. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. And it was it started snowing lightly and all of a sudden everything else became completely irrelevant and I sat there and it's so quiet when it's snowing, as yeah. you know, right? Yeah. And when you're up there and you're in the back country, you can't hear the people in the lifts and such. And it was absolute silent and there was no one else around and it was the most peaceful now moments yeah. that I've ever experienced in my life. Oh, and I don't think that would have happened after a car. A potential car crash right yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, it's yeah. it is about being outdoors being on cannabis 
Because I always smoke when I snowboard. I mean, come on, why wouldn't you? Uh, <laughs> it puts you yeah. in the zone, you know? It elevates your game and such. Um, the two go hand in hand so fucking well. And I know, Lena, you know, when you get outdoors, I, I know that you, the cannabis is a, re a requisite. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, about every 500 yards. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, when we went hiking the other day, you, Stash, and I, we had a blast. Um, we ate some edibles beforehand. Uh, and I gave you a CBG gummy from Smokies, and you had never had a CBG oh, gummy yeah, before. Yeah, wasn't that that tangerine flavor, I feel uh, like? That was the other edible, uh, the high THC one. <laughs> but <laughs> the, the, two of them, the two of them combined, that's my jam. Mm. I'll take a, a little nibble. I don't need a lot when it comes to edibles. I'm like a five milli guy. <laughs> Uh, not a, a, a hundred milli guy like I Wesley. knew there was a chunk out of that edible you gave me. There was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta make sure he's not giving you his leftovers. <laughs> but I'll take a little nib off of a high THC one and a little nib off of a CBG one. And 30 minutes later, I'm on the trail and I feel like a trillion bucks. And then when it's time to head down or snowboarding or whatever, I'll take a little nibble of a one-to-one. -one. That's CBD go. to THC, yeah. which is a, a painkiller, right? you know, but also it makes the outdoors glow. Yeah. When you're glowing on the inside, you're emanating that outwardly, right? So true. And it's almost <laughs> like, and, and I'll tell you, the pardon and why. I know, pardon me. Smoke another ball hit. Oh, um, don't mind me. Another thing that happens <laughs> when you're, when, you know, we keep talking about hiking and then it's a great example of the great outdoors. Sometimes I'll be in that zone right where i'm feeling you know one with nature mm -hmm. and i'm on a trail and maybe the day's been going on or something and i'm just cruising along and a fucking chipmunk <laughs> will stand in the in the in the trail and look at me and, and then go zipping off and mm -hmm. and like this last experience it was just a, like a month ago or so that little thing man i watched it go through a, like on its own little highway <laughs> over a log and then over another log under a tree under a branch blah, 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 over to this what looked to, to be like the enigmatic the prototypical uh home for a squirrel oh. in a, a stump <laughs> In a big stump, it had a hole. I mean, a, hob a, a, a gnome could have been living in there. So cool. But I felt at that moment like I was connecting with this wild animal. And you were. It was yeah. aware of me. Yeah. I was aware of it. And it was a brown. I asked Lena. I said, what? I, it, was a, it was black. She said, no, that's a brown squirrel. It was the first time I've ever seen one. Yeah. It, was, it was small, just barely larger than a chipmunk. And right. they're, they're cute as hell, man. If you've never seen one in person. They have little tufts, right? They have little tufts. Well, they, they have stripes. Oh. They got a little stripe through down the head and stuff, so you know, cute. super cute, like Chip and Dale, like those little guys. Mm -hmm. They're here in the Pacific Northwest. Mm -hmm. But you have that connection yeah. with another animal, a wild animal. It truly makes you feel not human, but alive. Connected. Connected. Well, and don't you guys agree that what we're talking about is that it's an elemental connection that is there all the time, but you're aware of it when you are using our friend cannabis. You know, it's always there, but that heightened awareness, right, and the connection with Gaia, with Mother Earth, that's what's so fucking awesome. But There's out being outside, too. Yes. Use cannabis at home when you're watching you know, Ren and Stimpy <laughs> or, you know, another dumb car. Maybe that's a little dated. I don't know what Just uh, a little. Rick and Morty. Beavis and Butthead. Sure, yeah, yeah, it's dated as well. Uh, but you're not getting that it's that a, serotonin release like yeah. you mentioned Lena it's mm -hmm. you're, you're not getting that energy it's yeah. different when you don't have that distraction and you're not being pulled in by someone else's craft yeah. or someone else's message yeah. you're allowed to make your own message you're allowed to create your own narrative and what happens out in the woods or in nature for me personally is I get really creative that's where I come up with tons of ideas for Stony Baloney, for the podcast, because you have no more of those fucking distractions, right. no more of those bells and whistles. And then it's just you mm -hmm. and your brain and your thoughts. And what happens is the channel opens, the spigot opens and starts to pour out. And that's my church. I love that. Yes. And now you've had some great experience. Weren't you telling me about some experience over on the peninsula that was kind of nutty? 
Oh my gosh. No, I was on Anderson Island and we were doing a trail kind of at sunset and it was a little crazy cuz at the beginning when we before we even hit the parking lot for the trailhead there was an owl perched on this wire and I love owls. They're beautiful. Mm. But I mean, I was like, oh, is that an omen? <laughs> and That's then, a good omen. Yeah, yeah. You, would, you would think. But yeah. then um, we came upon this old fireplace that was once a part of the original homestead uh, on Anderson Island. And I kind of just felt this weird creepiness. Oh, interesting. And I was like, something isn't really stoked with me being here right now. And yeah. so I was like, all right, well, I'm just going to get to the, you know, the end of the trail because that's where I planned on kind of watching the sunset. And, um, and then we started to come back and had to walk through that area where that fireplace was and the trail dropped like 10 degrees in temperature mm -hmm. and I turned from walking into sprinting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, again, you know, when you're, uh, cannabis is really heightening that awareness and probably some bad shit went down there. Some, you know? cr yeah. Well, you know? an original homestead, I would imagine. Yeah. Some, yeah. some crazy stuff happened there. All right, Landon, now it's time for you to play Legalize It. <sighs> Yay! <laughs> Who's the dipshit who came up with this law file? You have to wonder how some of these laws were even passed. <laughs> this is Legalize It. All right, Lena. It is very true that some states still aren't ready to party like it's 1999. Sad. Right, Stash? <laughs> right. What year is it? Right now, sweetie. What, oh, right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, 2023. <laughs> is, is it? Uh, I don't know. Well, it's going to be when the show comes out, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, mister. <laughs> You've been corrected me all day. <laughs> What's that, mom? Oh, I'm coming. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Number one. In this northern state where cannabis is open for recreational use, you can legally say you want to dam one of the Great Lakes, but to say goddamn is blasphemy punishable with a misdemeanor. Whoa. <laughs> it's facts. Wow. Crazy. What's your guess? I'm There's gonna a guess. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wow, that's fascinating. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna go with Michigan? Correct. Yes! Yes! My grandmother was from Michigan. Oh. God damn. Nice. <laughs> Whose grandmother was from <laughs> Norway or something? So whose was? Your, uh, your grandmother's grandmother. You look Scandinavian. I am Scottish uh, and Irish and German. Yeah. Oh, blasphemy! Yes. Me too. <laughs> uh, do you think they've ever given out misdemeanors in the city of Flint or Detroit? No. <laughs> For saying goddamn hello. Oh, oh <laughs> my gosh. Nah. No. Yeah, yes, they should. They, they should. They need to change the law. Here we go. Number two. In this Rocky Mountain state where cannabis is also fully legal, until uh, 2019, throwing snowballs was illegal. Oh, snap. I'm going to have to go with Colorado. She's right. Oh, she's yeah. smart. She's smart. Yeah. Yeah. Colorful Colorado. <laughs> and number three. Franklin D. Roosevelt. Governor Elliot Spitzer, Rudy Giuliani, Anthony Weiner. These are all men who could have served up to 90 days in jail with a $500 fine had they been convicted of this crime in New York State. Mm, is it possession of marijuana? Incorrect. Oh, darn it. Oh. Is it? Darn. Help me out, Mary. Come on. I think it's inappropriately showing your private areas. It's adultery. Oh, oh adultery. Oh. 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 90 days in jail and 500 bucks for adultery. Man. She... That doesn't seem she, right. <laughs> you know? Mary, could you have gone to jail in New York ever? Oh, God damn it. Last week. No, just kidding. You're not married. No. Lena, where can we find you on social media? Actually, you can find me at Lena underscore B underscore sparked. And you can also find our hike at takeahike.i502. Spell Lena for me, please. Yeah. That's L-E-N-A. Yeah, Looks that's like Lena. Yeah. It sounds like Lena. Thank you so much for being on the Leaf Life podcast. Yeah. Thank you, folks, for having Thank me you. so I much. You guys are amazing. Now. Let's go hiking. Please yeah, do. Let's go. Yeah. Please yeah. do. Can yep. we smoke weed? Hell yeah. Yay. Please do. <laughs> hey, Lena, you're on show 199. Oh, my gosh. I'm excited oh, no, for 200. Hey, guys. Yeah. Next week, show 200! Yeah! Oh, we made it! <laughs>
Unbelievable. <laughs> Download this and all Leaf Life episodes at leafmagazines.com. You can listen to all Leaf Life podcast shows on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, Google Play, and YouTube. Just look up Leaf Life Podcast V2. Now here comes another episode of Stony Baloney, which is also available at leafmagazines.com. And please be kind to animals and brown squirrels. <laughs> Your hosts for Leaf Life are Mike Bricker and Wes Apney. Leaf Life is produced by Mike Daly. Some of the music heard is provided by purple-planet.com. Every bit of cannabis you use is female, so please respect the ladies. Leaf Life is brought to you by Leaf Nation, featuring Alaska Leaf, Oregon Leaf, Northwest Leaf, Northeast Leaf, Maryland Leaf, and California Leaf. On the shelf now in your local retailer. Please stay tuned now for this week's edition of Stony Baloney by Mike Ricker. Baloney by Mike Ricker. Cornhole is stupid. I've got a beef. Whoever invented this mindless game blatantly stole the name from Beavis's alter ego. I mean, nothing embodies bottled up teen angst more than the great cornholio teeth chattering out stream of consciousness anxiety like a vibrating dildo with a broken off switch. And how the hell that translated into a lazy pastime of lobbing beanbags into a wood hole is a mystery to me. It's like shuffleboard for people under the age of 80. And while we're on the idea of utter copyright infringement, last time I checked, when you throw something behind the house, it's either your annoying nephew into the pool or horseshoes. Now, I realize cornhole is far less dangerous than a U-shaped shot put fleeing across the backyard or ragdolling a child over the concrete edge to the deep end, but you toss in a half rack of Pap's Blue Ribbon and suddenly anything leaving your hand becomes a liability. Here's the thing. After decades of tailgate buzzes and backyard barbecues, haven't brilliant minds evolved past elementary recess games to something more imaginative? Like, whoever conceived the idea for Twister deserves an award. And the people behind that ridiculous game show Wipeout got pretty damn creative. But Cornhole lives entirely up to its name. And in case you didn't know the original meaning, it's a slang term for getting space invaded in the backside. And by the way, what the fuck is that game with the plastic ball you bounce off a miniature trampoline? My guess is it's the same dipshits that invented Cornhole. I don't know. I suppose it's better than being glued to the couch playing video games. Unless there was a video game called Find the Stash. Stony Baloney! Some of the wardrobe, including Ricker and Wes's sick lids, is provided by Grassroots California. Check out the dopeness at grassrootscalifornia.com. These products have intoxicating effects and may be habit-forming. Marijuana can impair concentration, coordination, and judgment. Do not operate a vehicle or machinery under the influence of this drug. There may be health risks associated with consumption of this product. For use by adults 21 and older. Keep out of the reach of children.